for anyone that watches my videos know that I've been switching part after part after part trying to get my car situated it just idles so bad and a couple electrical things have been happening inside my car where the car will beep with the key in the ignition sometimes it won't when you have the door open and just the uh, key in the ignition without being turned on to accessories or anything like that and the lights have flickered on and off um, also the passenger side door lock switch won't unlock it'll lock but it won't unlock which is a little weird i don't know it could be some burned out channels within that switch itself uh there's just a couple things that have been going on it's kind of weird so i pulled this out of my car this is under the driver's or that, i'm sorry the passenger side under the glove box and you have to take off the uh, side panels on the car that run along the door kind of on the uh, the sill panel and you just take that plastic piece out i also took off the glove box itself so the bcm the body control module it controls things like your radio stuff like that which a couple of times i've had my radio actually not have any volume so i'm thinking that maybe this is also the cause of the uh, bad vibrations that i'm having so i got my little ebay soldering gun right here and some electrical soldering and there's five of these points that you want to go ahead and solder. It's going to be right here, right there, and these three points. So what I'm going to do is just going to heat up this element here, or the, uh, the pins, and just add some more solder on top of it. Hopefully it gets better connections. I mean, this one, can't really see it, but it had some browning on it. Like, I don't know if it's little burn marks or scorch marks or something like that. So I'm hoping that this is the issue. All right, I'm not very good at soldering, but I'm hoping this works. I mean, hey, it's already destroyed, then oh well. So, got it right there. Just add a little more soldering on it. Hopefully it adds a complete circuit to that. Right there. All right, so I just finished soldering these, those five points. They don't look great at all, but I've never really soldered before. So I'm just giving this a try. Uh, reason why I didn't show it, because I'm not a pro. I don't want anybody to make any mistakes if I made them. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that you can look into about soldering. There's actually videos on this that I've watched. Uh, there's plenty of them out there, but I'm just giving this a shot in the dark. Okay, so what I did was I had to remove that side panel, the kicker panel, and I took out the glove box as well. And this is the housing right here that this uh, module goes into. And you gotta make sure when you do put it in, the, the side with the, the module's not in there right now. I'm just showing you. The pins will come out of here and just make sure the, the more slender pins are facing towards the driver's side. So it goes up into this box like up in here. You just have to slide it in when you're done. And let's see. This is the housing that it's in, you see on both sides, right here. So what I had to do was, it's just plastic, I had to push that side back and this side back together at the same time to be able to slide it out because it's got these tabs that hold it in. And then this is the harness for it. Uh, there's one harness, there's actually three pieces, this harness, this harness, and there's another one that connects in here, I just took it off and it's actually inside the house. Are. So you can plug it in. There's two separate harnesses that go right there, and then it's just this one long one there that goes into this piece here. So I'm going to stick this back into the housing. Just make sure all those pins go right on through. And this box, just close it. Make sure nothing hits on the inside. These back tabs, make sure they don't hit any of the chips. And uh, seal it off. And then I'm gonna do a little test run 
I'm just gonna plug it in while it's still out. And also what I did was I unplugged the battery first, so that way I don't damage any electrical components. And I crossed the negative and the positive wire connectors uh, just to kind of wear the energy out of the system. And it also is going to reset everything as well as far as like the PCM. And, and it's just, that's it. I mean, now I'm just going to stick it back in there and hope for the best. That's that harness I was talking about. Because it wraps around down in here. So I'm just going to connect this. Grab the box here sure it's all nice closed up so this is the bigger harness here Just snap that into place and then the black harness goes towards the center bit of a pain to get in there and the green harness was a little more outwards and you can't mess it up because of the way the tabs are on this thing all right so we're all plugged in I'm gonna plug the battery back in and see what happens well it didn't fix my problem with this door lock here unlocking but it's doing something it's never done before. Because when you hit the door lock with one of the doors open, it beeps. And it won't do anything. So that's new. But you have to close the door to be able to lock it. So maybe it fixed something, but I don't know if that'll fix my rough idle. And that's just how you do a quick job on this thing. I mean, you just take off all the plastic panels there and uh, just kind of throw some solder on it. So looks like everything's working. You get the deal you want, and David Mo Radio's working. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like, yeah. Let's see. Lights work. The dimmer for it works. And also, how it works with these F bodies is uh, if you have the car off and you start it up at night, as soon as you put the handbrake down, the lights come on automatically. And there was even had a problem to where the brake light wasn't even showing at times. And when I would have the car with the parking brake on, I'd start it up and the lights would come on automatically. Like, hold on a second, I need to put that parking brake down. But that's pretty much it. I don't have much else to show. If you have any questions, maybe I can answer them. Let me know. Careful when using a soldering iron. Dip my finger. Genius.